everybody. Welcome back to those of you who've been hanging with me some time and welcome to those of you who are new to my channel. I'm Adele Levine, intuitive and medium. I'll make some announcements at the end, but let's get into this video. So I wanted to do a video on spiritual protection and boundaries. And no, I don't mean spiritual protection and boundaries from spirits. I am going to be teaching a class on that though. So stay tuned probably next month. We have a lot of holidays this month. Um, but uh, today I want to talk about spiritual protection and boundaries from other people like you and you and you and you and you. What I mean by that is from each other. In the spiritual world, in this community, we meet and bump into all kinds of interesting people. And it has come to my attention many times in this last month that things are happening because probably there's been such an uptick in the interest in the spiritual and witchy world and such that people are getting interesting advice and I wouldn't say advice, but information and involvement with other spiritual teachers and seers and readers and healers. And when you're coming into this world, and yes, there's been an uptick in this world and interest in it because I feel the times that we're in this year has been a really rough year. And so people are looking for answers outside of traditional religion and such, which, you know, makes total logical sense. But because of the internet, because of YouTube, ta-da, here, and TikTok, and Instagram, and all of the lovely social medias that I have no problem with and I think is awesome that we have access to where we can get all kinds of information that we didn't get, at least I know I didn't have access to, or anybody I knew because I came into this path in um, early 90s, early 90s. And, um, and we didn't have things like this. And the cool part is that there is so much information. And the other cool part is that there's so many people interested in this world. The downside is there's a lot of misinformation and there's a lot of people preying on people to kind of follow them. Oh, like Jesus. And that is an issue that is a problem for so many reasons the problem is is that people have open minds open hearts and they want to learn which is great i mean i'm on here and i'm trying to do this but one of the reasons why i'm doing this i have a podcast plug i have <laughs> i have two podcasts actually plug right this way and I have this channel and I have a book and I have all kinds of things that I'm trying to put out to give information, which I feel is, um, I'm happy that you guys are interested in that's something that you are interested enough that you want this information. But I look at it like, here's this information, do what you will with it, take it, leave it, not pay attention, whatever, take what you learn, and make it your own. But the misinformation that's going out there seems to be coming from an ego-based place. It's coming from this place where people are like, look at me, look what I can do, look at who I am, follow me, you know, you know, worship me even, and it turns very wonky. And how do you protect yourself? How do you create boundaries in the spiritual world? Here's a little secret, guys. In case you didn't know, oops, hold on. Let me take a big sip of just water, but I love the cup. Um, here's the secret. The spiritual world and community is filled with a lot of ego. Yeah, it isn't a perfect utopian place. I'm sorry. I know it's disappointing. I know we want it to be where everybody's just you know, here I am, I'm trying to bring peace and love and all of these things to my community and to you. It isn't. There are people that get ego and they get, they want to feel special and they want to feel, you know, have the attention on them in every area. It, I always have this joke of saying, 
There is politics and ego in every world, in every line of work. That's just the way it is. And every interest, you know, you could collect stamps and there's the head honcho stamp collector. It doesn't matter. People, this is what happens. It's kind of human nature. The problem with the spiritual community and when it gets like you don't have your boundaries and protection is that if someone is utilizing it to kind of manipulate or pull you in into like how special they are. People are vulnerable. Their hearts are open. People want to understand things. People want to have a spiritual experience. People want to feel connected to their inner self and to the other realms. And that is wonderful. I am so happy that this is where we are in 2021. Because when I started this path, people were running away from me. Now people are interested and they're not looking at me like I just rose out of a grave or something, you know, spooky and ghouly. So I totally love and appreciate that. But the danger is that when you're opening yourself up and you're keeping your heart open and you're like, Hey, I want to learn. I want, I want things, you know, I really want to be a part of something. I want my, to expand my consciousness, protect yourself, protect your mind, protect your spirit. What I mean by that is follow your inner senses. I have heard story after story of people who have gone down this road and they're very open to it and they're excited. And then all of a sudden they're down some really crazy rabbit holes and they're following other people down these crazy rabbit holes. And then they, you know, wake up to it and they realize it, but they're like a little discouraged and a little bit, you know, worn out and a little feeling a little bit disappointed that what they were searching and looking for turned out to not be what they thought. And it makes people wonder like, you know, what is this path about? Or what is this world about? And is this right for me? It pulls people away from it, unfortunately. And I don't want to see that because I want people to be open and grow and feel that they can expand who they are, but you can do it with boundaries boundaries and protection. And how do you do that? You use your consciousness. You use your inner intuition. If something feels like there's red flags, then there's red flags. Meaning if you feel red flags, follow that. Let me know in the comments below, how many times have you seen these red flags? Did you follow your intuition? Did you follow it? And did it take you away from it? Did you trust it? Never let yourself feel weird about not feeling comfortable. And I even say this about myself, not everything I say people agree with, not everybody, the way I do things people resonate with, that's fine. But if you feel like someone is making you feel like, oh my gosh, I kind of stated, you know, um, that I don't agree with them and I don't feel comfortable. It's okay to have debates and we have spiritual debates in this community and people have different belief systems. Like I don't believe in reincarnation. I know, I know a lot of you are disappointed with that. But that's okay. We can agree to disagree on these type of subjects, but it isn't okay for someone to, for you to all of a sudden feel like, oh, I have to believe that because that's what I'm told. Otherwise I'm not being spiritual enough or whatever. No, that's not okay. It just be like, this is what I believe. This is what you believe. We don't really see why do I on it. All right, whatever. Let's just move on. And that is how you, you create boundaries and you do spiritual protection. You create a spiritual protection around you is being trusting in your own intuition and your own gut of what works for you and what doesn't work for you. The other way is literally when you're talking to people and you're engaging in this community, then, you know, put a protective energy, put a spiritual energy around you, like in, like a, a force field of, I'm open to what they're saying, but I'm putting this force field around me. Cleanse yourself, do cleansings, um, groundings, you know, ground yourself and lift your spirit, like clean it off is what I mean by lift. Instead of lift, maybe clean, then lift. Like be active maintenance in when you're in this realm. You don't want to just dive into this world and just go, okay, I'm just open to whoever and anyone who's telling me something. Because I'm telling you, it's not it's going to get dangerous for your own spirit because now all of a sudden 
you may get discouraged and go, oh, wow, I was really interested, but then I found that there was some really wonky things and now I'm discouraged, like, is this even something I wanna do? You can create and forge your own path on how you want to be open to whomever, whoever, whenever, however you want. This is your spiritual journey. And that is how you create protections and boundaries, is that you value yourself and your seeing into things and your feelings into things first. Sorry, I just made this like intense space, but I'm kind of passionate about it because I feel like it's growing. It's growing a lot. And I think a lot of it has to do with, of course, over this year, we've all been at home and people have had nothing but time to kind of dive in and people have had nothing but time to make videos. I've covered so many different videos on this, the star seeds and, um, and star children and reality shifting and all this stuff to trying to kind of help people go here, here. I hope this helps you not to get lost down these rabbit holes that might be taking you into the wrong places. Use that inner gut of yours. Use those inner senses. Don't let someone make you feel like you must be completely wrong. I have people agree with, disagree with me all the time on here and other places. And I'm like, okay, well, I just don't believe in reincarnation. I don't believe in star seeds. I don't believe in these things, but that's cool. If that's what you believe, that's what you believe. I'm just putting out what I've come to understand so far, thus far. This is what I've come to understand. Maybe it will shift, maybe it will change, but we should give each other room for yourself. Create those boundaries. Don't feel bad about what you believe and what you feel is right for you. That's how you create a protective boundary around yourself and your spiritual journey and your path. So I hope that helps. Um, I wanted to hear from you guys what other type of videos you'd like me to do. I like to hear back. I love the comments that I'm getting so far. Please don't forget to subscribe because um, that really helps with the algorithm and um, like this video if this helped you and um, gave you some information that was useful. I am doing a online seance this next coming month in May. I'm doing an online se seance and you can get tickets. They're gonna be limited tickets um, here on my website. I'm probably gonna do a class the following month because it was a lot to fit in. This month we have a few holidays coming up and so I thought I'd just save that for the next following month. I did reinstate my 50% off my readings. I did post it in the community page and on my Instagram because people had told me there's a lot going on in their life and there's just so much still going on in our world. We're not quite stabilized yet. After talking to so many people, I realized it's still needed. So you can still use the 50% off with the code PEACE. And I put out a recent podcast on um, on my podcast, Peering Into the Nearer Room. You should check that out. It's how do spirits talk to us? So I hope you guys enjoy all this stuff. Thank you guys so much. Follow yourself, follow no one, listen to your inner voice, and I'll see you soon.